up everyone thank you for joining me for yet another setup with me video in this video today i will be showing you a nautical themed first birthday party that i did over the weekend right now we are just loading up our truck we got a 10 foot u-haul to fit 48 chairs seven tables a dessert table an umbrella three wooden backdrops a high chair and a number one marquee Definitely keep some sheets, blankets, towels, or something that can protect your backdrops and the paint um, from getting ruined in transit. Um, I like to put it in between and definitely on the floor because if the sides of your backdrops are dirty, it will definitely show in pictures. A huge game changer for this weekend's event setup was having a dolly and this utility cart on hand. Um, I just loaded it up and pushed everything and it helped a ton. So if you have one or if you can get one, I highly, highly, highly recommend doing so. So we're here at the park, we're just offloading the truck, um, and then we got started on the tables, chairs, and linen, just to get that out of the way because that could be very time consuming. Once that was finished, I moved right into the main display, which is the backdrops, um, dessert setup, and uh, the balloons. For this setup, I prepped two balloon garlands, and then the rest were fillers. I added all of the fillers to the balloon garland base using a 260 balloon. I tied at the end so it mimics a rubber band. So I'm about to add this quad filler balloon into the balloon garland base. Um, I have it connected with the 260 and then I just slide it over another balloon and it wasn't tight enough So I go in with another 260 and attach it to another balloon So it's connected to the balloon garland at two different points And this longer gray balloon garland that I have in my hand is three clusters connected together I'm going to use the same method with the 260, but I'm going to attach it to the back of the balloon garland base and there's this huge hole right there. So I'm taking a 260, tying it around, and then connecting it to the balloon garland base. And here I am attaching this little cluster to the balloon garland using the necks of the balloon. So I go back and forth between techniques. Um, sometimes using the 260s can be a lot easier. Um, it just depends on what I'm doing. And here is the second balloon garland base that I have already prepped prior to arrival. Um, and now I'm just connecting it to the backdrops and kind of shaping it so that it goes with the way that the backdrops are shaped. And then afterwards I'm going to start adding the details to it. In order to get the balloons to be flush to the floor, I used a drill and a long nail and basically drilled it into the grass and um, I'll get a 260 and I'll wrap it around so that the balloons are flush to the floor because you do not want your balloons to be lifting off the ground. So now I'm adding in my 24 inch balloons. All I do is tie a 260 to the neck of the balloon and then I go ahead and I wrap it around multiple times to a balloon that's already um, existing on the balloon garland. If you don't like the placement, it's really easy to take that 24 inch balloon off and attach it to another place, which is what I'm doing here. Thank you. 
And for the five inch balloons, I use 260s. I attach two clusters at the end of the 260 and then I go ahead and wrap it around a balloon. And that's how I attach my five inch balloons. Sometimes I will use rubber bands, but since this was an outside setup, the balloons get oxidized really, really fast. And if you're trying to put, you know, a tight rubber band around these balloons, it's going to leave streaks. Um, and I didn't want to do that, so I used a 260 instead. So I had this massive cluster of balloons. Um, I'm just attaching it using the necks. You could see if you look really closely. to share with you how I made my very simple but not basic centerpieces. All you will need is half inch PVC, half inch mail adapter, half inch flank, half inch um, small screws, and then 4x4 four four wood slabs. Um, I'll leave everything linked, not linked, but I'll leave everything in the description that you will need. You want to make sure that this base layer or this bottom layer is as close to the bottom as possible and you want to keep on pushing all of the layers of balloons down in the middle you want the next to go as far down as possible And this is what the base of the balloon centerpiece should look like. I wanted these to be heavier at the bottom and lighter at the top, so now I'm just adding in um, bigger five inch balloons. It's like two pumps, I believe. And then throughout the entire um, centerpiece, I'm adding like a half a pump five inch balloons. You can see these here are super tiny, and I like those more towards the top but I do add a few towards the bottom too just to fill in holes. That is it for today's video i appreciate you guys sticking around and watching it if you recreate these center places please tag me on ig or shoot me a dm because i would love to see them i hope you guys enjoyed this video until next time peace <laughs>